This is gonna suck. I'm no doctor, but how is she supposed to sterilize the needle? Oh man, you know what this reminds me of? Surgeon Simulator. That's what it reminds me of. I just wish it was better. Damn, she did get bit pretty hard. I couldn't really tell from the other stuff. Alright. My guess is peroxide, needle, bandage. That kind of order. We'll just have to see. I still got that watch. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to use it for, though. Oh, shit. Wait for it. Oh, shit. That's pretty good animation. Okay. Okay, I'm good. I'm fine. Now the fun part. Oh boy. Oh my sweet buttery. Here we go. Now even though you have the needle... How does she even know how to do all this? Unless she was like a Girl Scout or something. I don't even know if they would do something like this. Here's how to sew your arm back up. In case a dog bites you. I don't know. No. Just like last time. Just how Crystal showed me. Oh dear. Here we go, guys. Wait for it. Oh no! Oh shit! Oh motherfucker! Jesus! I like felt the pain. <laughs> Holy shit, man. Get it! There you go. Dang, Clementine is a trooper. She is not to be messed with. Oh, man. Really? Again? Oh, man. Ready to for mature, guys. My dog's looking at me funny right now. Oh, shit! You gotta be kidding. Another time? Is it possible to do it without hurting yourself? She would have to pass out from the pain. Oh, shit. Oh man, I'm starting to get dizzy. That's not good. That's not good. She's going down, not up. <laughs> there we go. Pull that bastard. Oh man. I don't know if I want to do anything else to my, uh, to my arm. What? Oh, I knew that zombie was coming out somewhere. You gotta be kidding. Get the hammer. Ooh, you fucking bullshit me. Ah, where did it go? Whoa, whoa, what is that? Bitch! Get off me! Oh my god. Fuck this family. For putting me out here. There we go. There you go. Back up, bitch. Come on. Come on. Come on, eh? Come on, baby. There we go. Woo! I guess I'll finish the job now. Wait for it. Ugh. I was about to make an MC Hammer joke, but I didn't think it would be funny. Holy shit. What the? How the hell did he get in here? 
little girl's tough as nails. Are you all right? The shed should have been safe. Can I please come inside now? Please. You patched yourself up? Where'd you get that stuff? Did she steal from us? This doesn't change a thing. She hasn't done anything to us. Says the man not carrying a baby. Enough already. You left me no choice. You could have just left. Relax, Rebecca. Bring her in, and I'll take a look at her arm. Damn lurkers sneaking around out here. We better get inside. You hungry? This might hurt a little. Ow. How she look? Her suturing skills need some work, but otherwise, I say she should be fine. So, it wasn't a lurker bite? If it was, the fever would have already set in, and her temperature would be through the roof. You wouldn't have done what you did. I was hurt, and you weren't helping. Because we considered you a threat, which you were. Maybe you still are. No, I'm not. We put you in that shed out of concern for the safety of our loved ones. And then you escaped and persuaded my daughter to steal from us. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. But there are a few things you need to know about my daughter. Okay. She isn't like you. You may not get that initially, but once you're around her for a while, you'll understand. If she knew how bad the world is, what it's really like out there, she would cease to function. She's my little girl. She's all I have left, and I would ask that you stay away from her. I'm sorry. I didn't know. It's okay. You're forgiven. Just don't make any more mistakes. Hey, uh, brought you some food if you're hungry. That's gonna leave one hell of a scar. It's ugly. No, it ain't that bad. It's better than a stump. What? Nothing. I just had a friend who lost his arm once. That's all. Hey, look, I just want to say I'm sorry for, well, for being a dick out there. I got kind of aggro, and that was definitely not cool. Nick's been known to go off every once in a while. Don't hold it against him. Yeah, I guess we all have our moments. You definitely had one out there. You were just protecting your friends. I get it. Well, I didn't mean to be so harsh. I just... Uh, we had a bad experience once. What happened? Nick lost his mom. We took care of someone who got bit. It was my fault. I... It was no one's fault. We thought we could control it, but we couldn't. And then she turned, and his mom was standing right there, and she got attacked. And there was nothing we could do about it. Anyway, hopefully you understand. I do. Yeah.
So, since you're pretty much on your own, what's your plan? I'm not really sure which, I mean, I think these are good people, but I'm not sure. I'm thinking about moving on. Well, you're welcome to stay here if you want. Okay, let yourself heal up. Take some time to sort things out. Do you think everyone else will be okay with it? They'll just have to deal with it. So, what happened to your parents? If you don't mind me asking. I mean, I assume what happened to them is what happened to just about everyone's parents. You're just so young. Didn't think you could have made it on your own for so long, but maybe you did. They died. That's tough. I, uh, I lost my folks, too. Hey, I'm sorry. I... I shouldn't have asked. Oh, I don't have enough time to read all these! My parents went on vacation and left me with a babysitter. And they never came back. We went to Savannah to find them. But they were already dead. Well, well I'm sorry to hear that. This man found me and took care of me. We met up with other survivors and we all tried to make it. But it didn't work. His name was Lee. He taught me how to survive. He's the reason I keep my hair short. What uh, happened to him? Oh man, okay. I ran away. Oh shit. The same thing that happens to everyone, but he saved me first, lots of times. Well, sounds like he was a real good guy. Yeah, he was. I hate to interrupt, but I'm out there standing watch and I can't help but notice this place is lit up like a goddamn beacon in the middle of the woods. Yeah, it's time to turn in anyways. Now get your winks while you can, because we're going fishing at first light. Couple fresh brookies for dinner? Hmm, wouldn't that be nice? You're still here. I wouldn't get comfortable if I were you. Luke invited me to stay. Good for him, but that's not how things work around here. We make decisions as a group, and you're wearing out your welcome. You got what you came here for. Now go. How you holding up? I heard you got an earful from Rebecca last night. Once she gets going, there's no bringing her back. What's her problem? Yeah, well, she's got a lot on her mind lately. Bringing a baby into a world like this. How far are these fish traps? It ain't much further. Anyone teach you how to shoot? By that I mean taught proper. Any idiot with a finger can shoot. My friend Lee taught me. That's good. It's important nowadays. He didn't teach a... He only taught a pistol, though, so I don't know. Nick was about your age. First time I took him hunting. Came across this beautiful 13-point buck just standing there on the ridge line. The boy takes the rifle. He lines up the shot just like I taught him, and then I hear him start whining. He turns to me and he says, I can't do it. I can't shoot it, Uncle Pete. Please don't make me shoot it. Really? No way. 
Hey! Why didn't you wait? You want us standing around while you piss on a tree? You know where the river is, boy. Anyway, so I grab the gun out of his hand before the big buck runs off, when bang, the gun fires. Boy nearly gut shot me. And of course, the buck gets away. What are you going and telling her this shit for? Because you almost blew her face off yesterday. Seems relevant. Trying to let her know it's nothing personal with you. Why are you always giving me a hard time? Because you're always giving everyone else a hard time. I apologized already. She accepted. Okay, well I didn't know that. It's fine. He apologized. You're always trying to embarrass me. You're doing a good enough job of that on your own. Leaving us again. I know where the fucking river is. He kind of looks like Kenny just a little bit with the hat and the hair. So anyway, I found that buck later that season. Shot it right in the neck. Brought it up to my sister's figuring she'd want to freeze some of the meat. Nick didn't speak to me for weeks. Sometimes you gotta play a role. Even if it means people you love hate you for it. He doesn't hate you. Nick's father wasn't there much, and he was a piece of shit when he was. So it fell to me to keep him in line, raise him right. Meant I couldn't just be nice Uncle Pete. Uncle Pete! Nick! Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Oh, shit. Ah, full of holes. Who do you think did this? Not sure yet, but it ain't your average gang of thugs. That much I know. Think about it. Your Carver, what do you do? Who's Carver? The governor. I'm just kidding. I don't know. Check those guys there. Be careful. Some of them might still be moving. Now I gotta walk around and explore this shit all on my own. I love it. I'm about to get grabbed. I already know it. What is that one? Look at that one way over there. This one's shot too. Through the head? Yeah. Check the rest. And look for ammo. We're running low. So really, I need to check the one way over there. Let me go talk to him really quick since he's closest. I think whoever did this might be someone from the first Can season, I, I guarantee you. I got it. Now, I, I heard if you watch The Walking Dead Season 1 on, on this, I guess this entire Telltale Game series is kind of connected. Apparently, 400 days was like bridging the gap between this one and that one. Okay, how the fuck am I supposed to get over there? Just looking at it, never mind. There are more out there. This wasn't no rinky dink pissing match. What was it then? Fubar. Where are you going? We need to get the fuck out of here. Gotta check the rest. What? Why? Calm down and think about it, son. Calm down? We gotta get out of here now! What if someone's alive, Nick? Who cares? Because they might just be inclined to tell us who did this. We gotta do this now. Stay here. Keep searching these. This is a dumb idea. You know, Nick, I don't like this either. But sooner or later, you're gonna have to realize a simple truth. What, that you're an asshole? That nobody in this world is ever gonna give a goddamn whether you like something or not. You gotta grow up, son. Whatever. Come on, Clem. You wanna be useful? Keep a lookout on that tree line. Whoever did this might still be out there, waiting for another sucker to stumble across this mess, just like baiting a fish. I'd be more useful with a gun. I don't doubt it. At some point, you guys have to trust me. Hell, I trust you. But not everyone's at that point yet. Give them time. Look, just keep your head on straight. I need a damn spear or crossbow or something. Same deal. All shot to pieces. Hope this isn't anyone you know. No. Good. Damn it. 
More on that side. You check out these ones. See if there's anything on them that'll tell us who they were. So what I'm gonna be doing, instead of calling... I think it's, instead of calling, like, the last part of this... Hang on one second. Oh shit! What happened to you? <coughs> you were in the woods with Krista. The woman I was with. What happened to her? Please, tell me. Tell me! <coughs> Please. Oh no, I don't know guys. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna try to be nice on all my decisions. It might not be smart, but it's- I'm gonna try to be the nice guy. Thank you. Ah! Oh shit! Pete! I'm fine! I'm fine! Just- just lost my footing! Damn it. Oh God, damn, we got damn bit. It. Lurkers! I'm out of ammo! Come this way! Son of a bitch! Damn it! You get your asses over here, both of I'll you! I'll cover you! We gotta get out of here! Get over here, goddammit! Can't you listen to me once? Just one time? I have time? to go help him. Come on! I, th I think Come he was just bitten, but I don't know. Jesus! Get him! What are you doing, Cliff? Come on! Oh, shit. Wait for it. There you go. I don't know. I don't. I, I don't know if it really matters who you choose or what. Oh shit! Nick, hold on! Nick! Oh man, he's cornered. You better run, fool! Nick! We have to go. Where did Nick run off? I guess he just ran off. At least nobody got killed yet. We'll see what happens. What? That's the end of season. What? What are you gonna do? Someone's outside. Someone came here looking for you. A man. What? Did he say what his name was? We know damn well who it was. Who is he? One of the guys we were with before. What's he gonna do? I can't keep going. I figure we got about four or five more days to reach those mountains. We ain't here to rob nobody. Just relax and put the gun down, man. I thought you were dead. Man, so I don't know. That that was uh, that was a hell of an ending. I'm kind of excited for episode two now. Uh, so what I'll do, instead of calling this the ending of season two, episode one, I'll just call it part three, and then part four will continue once episode two arrives. But... Thank you so much for all the support. You guys are amazing. I don't know what kind of choices I made. Apparently, I'm in the lower percentage on that last one. I figured that was the smart thing to do. My my guess is I thought he was bitten, which I think he was. That's why it showed a little trailer like he's about to amputate his leg. So we'll see what happens on episode two. And uh, thanks so much for the support. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.